Hey guys, uh, welcome to your October 2022 prediction reading for uh, Libra. Um, this could be in any of, any of your placements. Uh, this reading could be in anything, nothing specific. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. So we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in October, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys can expect. And then we'll finish off the read to see uh, what else you guys need to know, what to look out for, what you need to work on. Um, so apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Libra people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so uh, Libra, let's get started. Tell me about Libra here. What is surrounding Libra? For October 2022, what does Libra need to know? What can Libra expect? For October 2022, tell me about Libra in October 2022. Tell me about Libra in October 2022 with a page of pentacles here. Okay, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Seems like you might be getting a new job offer here. Whatever this message is here, it's really good news. You know, there could be a, a you know, prosperity growth here for you all right regarding this message um look at the hermit here virgo energy lots of earth energy here so far libra we have the world and the strength card wow leo energy with the strength card here so i feel like there is a cycle that's closing out here for you whatever this is whatever the cycle that's closing out i, I feel like through through this through this time period here, however however long it, it has been, I feel like it's you've gained a lot of self-confidence here to sort of like put yourself out there, put yourself out there in the world. You know, it's sort of like, you know, um, you know, all you can do sort of attitude here or that you could do anything sort of thing. Uh, we have the star here and the nine of wands, okay? So I feel like you've done some sort of healing work here, Libra, where you've healed from a lot of trauma, pain, um, PTSD, there could have been physical trauma here too, okay, we have the star card here, Aquarius energy, let's see what else we have, tell me about the page of pentacles, why is this page of pentacles here, all right, we have the seven of pentacles, the hermit, and the four of cups, okay, you know, I feel like this is more so regarding your life here, where you're looking for more, you're seeking a higher purpose here, uh, 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 Libra, okay? It seems like you've, you're, you're doing a lot of soul searching, a lot of introspecting self-reflection here. You know, and I feel like through this hermit mode that you're in, I feel like you're finding a lot of confidence in yourself. And I feel like you don't want to waste any more time on, you know, perhaps wasting your time on dealing with you know, negative things or negative people here, uh, the world. The justice, Libra energy. It seems like you've learned some big lessons here, Libra. There you are right there, strength. And we have the magician, Gemini, Virgo. Yeah, I just feel like, you know, I feel like there's an energy that you feel like you can do anything. I feel like you feel like you could take on the world because I feel like you're clearing out a lot of karmic energy here. Okay, uh, you know, whether it's yours, whether it's, you know, generational or ancestral here. Uh, the Magician, Gemini, Virgo, the, the Star, we have the Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Nine of Wands here, and the King of Pentacles. You're definitely getting into this more grounded energy because I feel like, you know, for a while here, you might have been sort of like very spacey, your head's in the clouds or something like that, but I feel like things are becoming very, very, very clear to you as these layers are being shed here okay so the king of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo i mean th things are looking really really good for you here libra what else do we have here for libra what else do we have here for libra 
for the rest of their October. What do they need to look out for or work on? All right. All right, we have the death card and the two of wands. Yeah, it seems like you're going through a huge shift here, a huge transformation that's happening here, a rebirth, a major rebirth. Yeah, it's just, I feel like, the, you know, I feel like it, you're shedding a lot of karma here. Yeah, you're shedding a lot of karma here. We have the Ace of Swords and the Hierophant, Taurus Energy. We have the Sun and the Five of Pentacles here. We have the Four of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so I feel like for a long time, you could have been stuck in this very stagnant energy here. Okay, and I feel like things are about, things are looking up here. Things are changing big time okay uh we have the ace of swords here and the hierophant and then we have the sun in the five of pentacles yeah it seems like you're also overcoming insecurities here too fear of the abandonment fear of loss here you know i feel like you're going through a huge spiritual awakening i mean yeah there's an energy here you're feeling like you could take on anything here this is like a very exciting, this is a, like, I feel like this is like a very exciting energy here. The death card, eight of swords, the two of wands, and the empress, spousers. You're breaking free of this mental prison that you've been in. You know, I feel like you're in this energy of attracting here, okay? I feel like there's a lot of growth and expansion that has happened and will happen here. All right, you know, um, I, I just feel like the energy is not stuck anymore or that it won't be stuck. The Ace of Swords, we have the Devil, Capricorn Energy, the Hierophant, and the Eight of Wands. Yeah, whatever negative attachments that you've had in the past here, um, negative imprints, indoctrinations, I feel like you're cutting that out. You're letting that go. Yeah, it just seems like, you know, You're doing what's right for you. You're using your discernment here to decide, you know, what's right for you and what's not right for you, okay? Uh, let's see, tell me about the sun. Why is the sun here? And the eight of cups, the five of pentacles, and the two of swords. I do feel like you're finding happiness here. You know, at some point there was some sort of emptiness here, but, you know, I, I do feel like with the Two of Swords and the Five of Pentacles, you know, the, the insecurity is a bit of a struggle here for you. But I do feel like you're going to overcome it uh, because you do have support from the universe and the divine here. Okay, so uh, you know, a lot lots happen. A lot is happening here for you, Libra. So this looks really, really good. Uh, so Libra, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.